Wow, Morris, this smells incredible. I'm getting scallops, I'm getting peaty bogs. I'm I getting don't care what you're yum. getting. If you keep what? talking, you're gonna get a smack, is what you're gonna get. Alright, guys, we are back playing some I Am Dead. Last time we ended up doing the whole thing with Pete Noach. And this time, I believe we have to find out what's going on with Val. I think that's her name. Because she could possibly be a custodian. And I don't think she was gonna be the custodian because we have three more people to do. Ooh, what's up with these animals? Alright. There's a tomato woman. Or a pumpkin woman. I don't know. Alright. Woman and child. That's a sculpture, alright. Let's just continue with what we're supposed to do. So this fox has some memory of it. Or net. That's your name. That's a really cool name for a fox, actually. Gloves. Oh, I love them. I can't get enough gloves. Okay. Why do you need gloves, man? <laughs> Is it because it's like, I'm a fox and foxes are like, sneaky or something? Oh, don't tell me just more of the same kind of puzzle. Alright. I stole farmer's gloves. Oh, come on. Say something more. I think I'll just end up like, skipping a lot of the dialogue and just give you a gist of it at the end. Alright, so the fox just really likes gloves and stole a bunch of gloves. And one day, the fox saw Val cleaning her camel and she had some gloves next to her. And the fox was like, I'm taking those. That's basically what happened. Just a block of wood. Space modulation. How is this modulating space in any way? Alright. Let's take a closer look. Mimi Bergonzi has some memory of it. Apparently Val's best friend. Alright. In the last summer, before our GCSEs, Val and me spent a lot of time together. Usually wondering how we could get our hands on something to drink. Yep, that sounds like high school. Ooh, a crate of alcohol. Nice. And so, later that night... You can tell that these guys are just running out of like ways to break down the story. Because one part is just like, So, later that night, what would you do? We went into the woods behind Val's house to drink it sitting on top of that ancient stone that they say protects the island. But there was no way we were going to get through it all. So we decided to bury the rest. Oh god, like, how much of an alcoholic are you that, like, you need to bury your alcohol? <laughs> Alright. Just a couple of booze heads. There is so much of our history buried on this island. That's not so much history as, like, a couple of alcoholic teenagers burying their alcohol <laughs> and then they forgot where it was so that's probably one of the mementos when Val remembers her fond days of being an alcoholic teenager all right more memories to find what is this though the freedom of the Morlos picnic area are those dolphins or something no manatees all right doing some weird shit hey is that Val's camel Oh no. Okay. Not creepy whatsoever. Hold on. Are those bird people? What? Teepuketan tourists. Hailing from the islands of Teepuketo in the South Pacific, these bird folk have been migrating to Shalmerston for many thousands of years. These days, they do it in relative comfort, especially since their government sponsored a new ferry service to the island. <laughs> okay. So these bird people have their own government and stuff? Alright, cool. Good for them, I suppose. I'm just gonna stop questioning a lot of this. The makers of this game were definitely on some sort of drugs. Alright, who's this? Cornelia Kirscher. Quite famous in the art circles. Basically, no one knows her, but some people know her sometimes. Whoa! 
I spent the summer of 83 with Henry Outram, Laird of Shelmiston, in his grand hall working on a new piece. It was supposed to be about the volcano, but once I arrived, I found myself particularly taken by all the veils around the island. Woman, make a decision. Are you German? Are you English? Henry was a delightful host. His daughter, I think her name was Mallory or Valerie or something, was usually outside roaming the grounds. Henry said she was discovering herself and learning self-reliance through independent play. She seemed feral to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, like, if her high school stories are anything to go by, like, she's definitely a feral child. One day, I came across the perfect finishing touch to my sculptural masterpiece. But it turned out to belong to the wretched child. Whoa, hey! I tried to explain to her why I needed it, but she snatched it away and walked off. Don't tell me you stole the kid's toy. I went to Henry, thinking he could make her give me the boat. But to my astonishment, Henry told me it was up to her if she wanted to give it to me. When Henry suggested that maybe I could buy the boat, her little eyes lit up. It cost me 200 pounds for that little wooden boat. I'm sure Val spent all of that money on alcohol. <laughs> I don't care if she was a child. I'm sure she like started early. Ah, Henry was a good dad at heart. Caring about Val's feelings and, and treating her like a grown-up even when she was little. Who else has memories? Oh, bubbles. Old man's got bubbles. Henry Outram. Oh, that's her dad. After my wife Penny's death, I struggled to find ways to spend time with my daughter. It had hit us both hard, but, you know, stiff upper lip and all that. I always found it best to keep busy. Yeah, don't pay attention to your child. That's not important. No wonder she was feral and turned to alcoholism pretty early. Looking for something we could do together, I bought Valerie a set of paints. But she never even opened them. I was cross at first, but asked myself, what would Penny do? So I decided to let it go. Alright, the mom was ignoring the kid too. Nice. It was a disaster. Valerie simply didn't have the temperament for painting. She had a huge silly tantrum and threw all the paints away. That ungrateful piece of shit. She had 200 pounds to her name, so I'm sure she could buy more paints if she wanted to. I told her I wasn't having this kind of childish behavior, and I told her to well, stay Well, she's in the a room child. What do you expect? Down. I wished Penny was still with us. She would have known what to do with the child. So after all that, oh, she's just being independent. What he actually meant was, I don't care to pay attention to her. Mm. Very hard that to lose a parent. It was never going to be easy after her mum died, but. He always did seem distracted with his fancy art projects. Why do you try to make this sound nice? Like, he was a terrible dad. Can you just come out and say it, Morris? I hope there's some sort of, like, twist in the story or something, because so far it's just like, Oh, everything is wonderful, and everyone just is good at heart, and there's nothing wrong, and this is the ideal place. There should be something weird or sinister going on. Alright, one more. You know what, let's actually just start looking for these things rather than the bubbles. Alright, so the boat is somewhere in here. Uh, maybe inside the birdhouse. No, just eggs. Are they inside the eggs? <laughs> no. What about inside this? Oh, it actually is. That's the last place I thought it would be. I wonder how many people even saw this. Yeah, what the hell? That woman just like bought this for 200 pounds and then put it inside a sculpture. All right. Freaking artists, man. Always have to do something weird. I'm getting the scent of Grenkins again. Oh Morris. god. 
I'll pop up to let you know when we're close to one. No, don't do that. Alright, let's just look for the art supplies, I suppose. Is it in your bag? Oh no, but the <laughs> maybe that's the alcohol that they buried. I'm just checking everything because some of the stuff was hidden in the weirdest places. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Your painting really wasn't for Val, was it? That was literally the least helpful thing you could say, Morris. Oh, he has another memory. All right. The famous sculptor Vernon Russett was working on a huge statement piece in my honor. A statue of a camel with my head. When I saw it, I felt quite uncomfortable. Yeah, I would, I didn't man. want to upset him. Poor Vernon could be awfully temperamental, sinking into dark moods for days. I don't care about Vernon's feelings, man. He's a potato or a tomato or something. I keep saying potato because, like... His name is Russet, his last name is Russet. So it just seems that he would be a potato. When the statue was revealed, the nose was missing. Fortunately, we all managed to cover our surprise and act like nothing was wrong. Why Some would you do that? The wiser. That's some bullshit some art people stuff. Wrote a glowing like, no, I don't want to hurt your feelings. But like, if, if someone was making a statue of me and they forgot to put my nose in, I'd let them know. And tell them that they should probably give up art because it's not their thing. I'm pretty sure I know what happened to that nose. Did Valerie take it? Oh, she actually did. What a piece of shit that kid was. Spirit. <laughs> Good for you, Valerie. Your mother would have been proud of you. For destroying someone's art. Where did she put the nose? Maybe inside the statue, because that's where everything apparently is. I mean, that's her supplies. Oh, in a bush. Has to be in the bush, right? No, apparently not. Oh, I can keep zooming in. Okay. I mean, it had to be the bush, I just didn't know that you could keep zooming further. Oh, the fox had, like, the gloves, right? Oh, fox's den has to be in there, right? Oh, it's that one. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Morris, I bet you wish you were alive so you could rob me with this glove. Don't make it creepy, Sparky, goddamn. They said they were drinking up here somewhere, so... Maybe in the bushes. Yep. I mean, they literally left a shovel. So that shouldn't have been that hard to find for them. But they were probably drunk back then, so they didn't bother looking that hard. Wow, Morris. This smells incredible. I'm getting scallops. I'm getting peaty bogs. I'm getting I don't care what you're yum. getting. If you keep what? talking, you're gonna get a smack is what you're gonna get. Not doing the Grinkins. I might just do a whole episode on just looking for Grinkins. Oh, we did it! Time to fly. Yeah, this is the only part of the game that I enjoy. I just keep barking and stuff happens. That face, man. It's never gonna get old. She looks pretty young, so like, how did she even die? Morris? Morris Lopton? Is that really you? And Sparky? Val! Oh, it's so good to see you again! You too! You're looking very, um... Dead? Um, yeah. Dead? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just said <laughs> yeah. that. Well, we're trying to find a replacement custodian. You've surely seen the volcano. 
Oh, yes. Poor Aggie. Must be very tired. Aggie? Probably the custodian. Why are you so like... The current custodian. Yeah, of course. Oh, well, Morris is really, yes. really dumb. I'm flattered, but those are enormous shoes to fill. Thank you. I just wasted my time then. It's been so nice to see you again. And with that, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. And see you guys next time.